Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Yep. The bad news just keeps coming. Mm -hmm. Toot toot. <laughs> toot toot. I ironically said Walt Disney World Railroad still isn't running yet. I mean, other than testing it. Ah, uh, well, there are a lot of things that aren't running correctly at Disney. Disney had another major box office flop this weekend. West Side Story did not do good. No, it did not. Uh, Encanto did not do well. No, it did not. Uh, Hawkeye wasn't doing well. Apparently, um, no. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're, I, I'm seeing a pattern here. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a pattern here that they've had a, a string of, of duds now. This by no means that means that the uh, Disney company is is going up in flames or anything like that. People are always like, your Disney's not going to die. No, but this isn't a good look. No, it's not good. I mean, to be fair, though, did anybody think West Side Story was going to do well? I saw that they had like these little like uh, teaser things for it before they had the, uh, the big COVID thing. And I remember thinking, wait, is he doing West Side Story? I, I was like, because here it was 20th Century Fox and now yeah. that's 20th Century Films. And I was like, nobody cares enough to go. I mean, that's not going to do well. And who wants to go see West Side Story? It's been done to death. I mean, people like, like musicals will, of course. And that's okay. But that's not, that's a very limited audience. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. And I remember Bob Chapek actually at one of the, uh, the investors calls was like, you know, he's like, hey guys, we have West Side Story coming from Steven Spielberg. It's like money in the bank. <laughs> It's like, I, those two things I wouldn't even put together. West no. Side Story and Spielberg. I like, wouldn't... well, yeah. And then beyond that, the thinking you was going to make a lot of money. Because I remember thinking, why are they playing this in theaters? Like, one, it's a musical. Two, it's already been done. Um, you know. Three, half of it's in Spanish, yeah. I guess. Yeah, so like, then they what? made this other choice that all the parts that they're, they're talking about, that they have the two different groups, that the people that would speak Spanish natively speak Spanish, which is fine, except they don't put subtitles on it for people who don't speak Spanish. Yeah, because they didn't want to show preference to uh, English language. But they could have put subtitles on the English for those who don't speak English. Just subtitle the whole damn thing. You know, thing. they could have done that. You know, that would have made the most sense and it would have appealed to a wider audience because more people could have understood what was happening. But no! So, and then they're like, why did this do poorly? I have no idea. If they peddle this movie to China, do they put Chinese subtitles on all of it? Probably. Any other country's going to have subtitles that's going to be, they can understand. Um, and then they had to double down on using that slang term that people don't like that, you know, of the origin. <laughs> Tinkerbell? Yeah. We'll call tink the, the tinks. <laughs> We're going to call it Tinkerbell. The tinks. Yeah. They didn't like, they, they had to, they had to, uh, to use that too. Oh my God. In their, in the discussion about it, because, you know, even though people keep telling them they hate it, they keep doubling down on it. But why would this ever have failed? It, they're actually talking. It, it could post a lower opening weekend than In the Heights. That's, Ooh. that, that's bad. Cause In the Heights was like, in the theater and out of the theater in like a week. Like nobody cared. And look, you know, the whole mindset that you release musicals during Christmas time, I think that came from The Greatest Showman. But there are a lot of things to consider. One, it wasn't a pandemic. And two, it was a brand new original mm -hmm. movie that had some pretty catchy tunes. It had Zendaya and this whole thing going on. This this movie has been done. It's been mm -hmm. made. It's old. No one it's cares. old. Every every high school theater group has has done mm -hmm. this. Nobody cares. You're better just to go do Romeo and Juliet, and even yeah. that's been ever done. So we're gonna talk about this. Another another uh, hit of dismal Disney news for you. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over two hundred and forty six thousand subs. Mm -hmm. Woo. Yeah, Geeky can't clap. She hurt her arm. I'm clapping. I brought my other arm down to my other arm. She's kind of flapping. I can't lift it past a certain point. I don't know what I did. Who yeah, the heck knows? She pulled a muscle. I don't know. I don't know what I did. It's all that bitch slapping. That's right. That's my bitch slapping arm. Yeah. She was. She went to Walmart and she just started slapping bitches. No, I didn't. Randomly. Like, hey, you push, you push your cart in front of me, bitch. I'm going to slap you. No, your... I didn't. Merry Christmas, bitch. No, I didn't. <laughs> Anyway. I only do that, you know, figuratively. And figuratively. On, You're on. mentally slapping people. That's right. That's, that's I might in my head, but I don't do it for real. That is your that is your X-Men, I'm sorry, X person's superpower. You can you can bitch slap people with your mind. Oh my god, if I did that, there'd be so many people knocked out right now. People would just be like dropping dead. <laughs> I know. It's like, damn it, Gigi. Anyway. 
Just as you're walking, I can just see a whole bunch of people just like falling down, like thump, 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 thump. The bodies are hitting the floor as you're walking through Walmart and you're getting whatever you want because you mentally bitch slapped everybody. That's right. Well, if I could do you that, there'd be, them a, all. there'd be a lot of people that watch our videos that would probably, that hate watch our videos that would probably be laying on the floor right now. So anyway, um, but no, I don't bitch slap anyone. Um, so yeah, this is not doing well. I mean, I, I got bitch slapped like, at, at the box office. I'm like, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why people are surprised. Like, I just don't get it. You take away the whole, you know, using the slang term. Take away the whole that they have it in Spanish for half the movie. You don't understand what's going on. Take all that away. Just, the, I just as soon as I saw West Side Story, I knew it wasn't going to do well because I'm like, and I'm a person who loves musicals. I've been performing in them. I like them. I knew right away this is going to do poorly. Yeah, I mean, it was like, oh, they're doing another West Side Story, and like I said, it doesn't matter if it's if Spielberg or not. Like, he's not, not even on the the top five directors I would think of for this. No, like people who watched it said it was good though. It, you know, it might be. Now she is. Uh, was it Rachel Ziegler? Yeah, um, she, she's gonna be Snow White. She's gonna be Snow White. She's got some some hot takes on Twitter. Uh, Disney, I'm gonna give you some unsolicited advice. That I know you're not gonna listen to. Well, they listen. They, they hear it. They don't listen to it. Uh, you might want to have her dial it down on Twitter a little bit because she is going to cost you ticket sales. Well, mm -hmm. she might have already cost you ticket sales. But mm -hmm. let's be honest. Nobody was going to go watch this. So this is coming from The Hollywood Reporter. Box office. Steven Spielberg's West Side Story sings off key with a <laughs> $10.5 million opening. That's so bad. It's the pandemic and racism. Okay. No, as everybody's saving their money for Spider-Man. This They're, comes out yeah. this week. Now, yeah. you know, we talk about uh, the dismal Disney news about Disney kind of striking out the box office. Spider-Man's going to make a lot of money, but you have to remember Spider-Man is predominantly a Sony thing. Yes. Now they are going, you know, they're working with Marvel, but at the end of the day, it's very much a Sony thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and all those, all those Spider-Man universe movies are, so people are like, no, it's Marvel, it counts. It's like, yeah. The reason people are excited is because they're crossing over all these different, you know, Sony versions of, of Spider-Man. Yeah. With the That's MCU. That's uh, Spider-Man. Well, it could be the villains, even. The villains we yeah. know are confirmed. That's I mean, true. I was talking in general. Just yeah. I was talking about the characters. And they're com they're crossing them over. Now, that's what people are excited about. Um, so you can't say it's all because of, of Disney. No, I, I, I know what's going to happen. They're, they're going to be so hard up for multiverse stories that we're going to have May Day. And it's going to be all the Aunt Mays. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be funny as hell. It's called May Day. Wait, all wait, the Aunt are Mays. all the Aunt Mays alive? I don't know. Is the first Aunt May still alive? I don't, I don't know. know. Sally Field's alive. Yeah. And Marissa Tomei. Just the two of them. Sally Field and, and Marissa Tomei. May Day. No, but that's you know, funny as hell. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, um, anyway, let's point. talk about this. Critically acclaimed film is the latest adult skewing drama musical to struggle in the pandemic era. It doesn't matter if it's pandemic or not. Spider Man's going to make a shit ton of money. West Side Story was not going to do well, was, even if there wasn't no, a pandemic. I'm nobody sorry. wanted this. They wanted this about as much as they wanted cats. When I found out about it. It was before the pandemic, and I thought, well, that's not going to that's not gonna go. Right. Uh, it was critically acclaimed, though, but sang off key in its domestic debut. Ten point five million from twenty eight hundred. Well, theaters. it only had half as many theaters as most of the stuff does, anyway. Yeah. Well, this is coming hot on the heels of uh, Encanto too, and we'll talk about that. So heading into the weekend, twentieth century and Disney had hoped the big budget movie uh, would hit at least thirteen million. Wow. Ooh. Some tracking said fifteen. Well, but thirteen and fifteen was sad to begin with. That is. That's like we're talking cats. Cats numbers. I'm just like at this point, why don't you just give us the money? <laughs> And call it a day. The good news, West Side Story beat Disney's other movie, Encanto. And, and it's like, Encanto's like how many weeks in? Encanto started before Thanksgiving. Yeah, Encanto did not make much money it did, But it made um, it made $40 million, and they considered that a flop. And that one's coming to Disney Plus, like, yes. right before Yes, here's Christmas. a couple things about Encanto. One, um, it came out like Thanksgiving, and compared to other Thanksgiving releases from Disney or Pixar, it did not do well. It just really didn't. However... People are going to wait because they already announced that they're going to release it on Christmas Eve on Disney Plus for free. I mean, for, for your, subscri your subscription. You don't have to pay, like, pr get premiere access. So people are just not going because they know damn well they're going to get it on Christmas Eve. And they don't have to go out and risk anything or, you know, leave the house or whatever. It's to make it a Christmas Eve thing, which will probably do at our house. You know, they'll probably be watching it Christmas Eve at our house or Christmas Day. Not, so Not watching Ralphie again? No, we already watched Ralphie last night. But, yeah, but 24 hours of Ralphie. Well, I'm saying, I have a feeling we'll probably, I wouldn't be surprised because we're the only one in my family I think that has it, that we'll probably be watching 
uh, in Canto on Christmas Day. But people aren't going to go when they already know that they can just wait and get it for free. Yeah, um, that definitely with the uh, the animation. And again, you know, it's it's musicals don't, you know, people aren't willing to risk it for a musical. They'll come out for Spider-Man. Unless they make a movie of the Spider-Man musical. Oh my God, I forgot about that, but yes. That would, that would be kind of a disaster. I'm sorry, I'm just laughing. Why buy the Casa when you can get it for free? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, Spider-Man the musical did not do well. But someone died, too. Yeah, somebody broke their neck or something. Yeah. Um, songs are catchy. Was it, was it Bring you Back too. the Night or something? Uh, Spider-Man, Turn Off the Turn Dark. Turn Off the Dark. Turn Off the Dark. That was it, Turn Off the Dark. I don't even remember because I didn't care enough to pay attention. Yeah, it was shit. It didn't, it didn't do very well. Um, there are many major markets to open, including South Korea and China. So the film uh, so far isn't resonating with Latin America or Asia, but this is... <laughs> Well, probably because you keep calling them that word they don't like. That word, the Tinkerbell word. They don't like it. They keep telling you they don't like it, but you keep using it over and over again. I'm, I'm calling it the Tinkerbell word because I, I think Disney just made it up. I think this is a Disney thing because you hear it all like Marvel Comics and Lucasfilm. And I have no idea. But the Tinkerbell. I just, I know people hate it and they keep asking them to please not use it. And they just keep doubling down on it. The Tinkerbell. That puts pressure on Europe. <laughs> Europe's been under pressure before, where the Omicron variant is... Oh, oh yeah, come no, on. They're gonna blame We're going to blame the pandemic. Well, West Side Story would have been a huge hit if it wasn't for Omicron. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a racist variant. It doesn't want people watching the Tinkerbell movies. <laughs> and it hates Steven Spielberg because he's Jewish. <laughs> It's a racist variant. Oh, my God. What a bunch of <laughs> dog shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Slowing down the box office recovery in key markets such as Germany. West Side Story debuted a paltry $300,000 because we know what they think over there. <laughs> bunch of bullshit. Musicals face a huge challenge in the pandemic. Fuck no. He, 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 can just, he can just end it with musicals <laughs> face a huge challenge. Cats. In the box office. Remember Cats. How can you forget cats? And it's like, they don't, musicals are not something people really want to see movies of. No. Unless it's something original. Like La La Land did well and, and The Greatest Showman did well because they were their own thing. Um, but you, that you can't argue because it was Into the Heights didn't do that well. So, no, In the Heights. And that was, that was Lin-Manuel Miranda who's like apparently writing the music for every damn movie ever made now. And especially from Disney. Every, yeah. Um, yeah, look at this. In terms of recent musicals, West Side Story opened ahead of Dear Evan Hansen, 7.4 million. Again, people, people were like, what? What is that? At least West Side Story is one they've heard of. Uh, in the Heights was 11.5 million because they marketed it as like, from the guy who brought you Hamilton. Pretty much. Comes another musical that sounds just like Hamilton. Hamilton. Um, I, I'm waiting for the comments. You don't know what Dear Evan Hansen is. I know exactly what Dear Evan Hansen is. I'm just saying most people don't know what Dear Evan Hansen is. Oh, uh, Pinky Boo, man. She's got her, she's got her, she's like, on it. She's got her vinyl collection of all her, her musical soundtracks. You know, she's got it going on. Mm, some of she, them, yeah. She really wants to see Beetlejuice. I don't think Beetlejuice, the musical, the movie, would do very well. No, though. she wanted to go to the musical and she never got to make it to that. Yeah, then they killed it. And I guess it's coming back. I don't know. Nothing ever dies, uh, for sure. Um, especially Disney. It just <laughs> it never dies. doesn't matter how bad they do. They never go away. But yeah, this is like, what did they expect? You know, The Greatest Showman, yeah, it... it was a dud at eight million went open, but eventually it hit 174 million. Because yeah. again, it was a new so thing. We're gonna compare it to that, like oh, because it didn't do well. The music was good. It was and Gershon was a good one. And West, but West Side Story is one people, most people already have seen or heard or been familiar with. So they just don't care. So let's see. Encanto has a domestic total of 71.3 million. Uh, so it's at 151.8 million worldwide. It's That's not, not great, fantastic. not for a Disney animated. Yeah, Ghostbusters Afterlife's number three with 7.1 million. Um, finished Sunday with a domestic of 112 and 169.7 million globally. Also, not that great, but but not that only cost fantastic. them 75. So, so then you know what's gonna happen? Spider Man's gonna come out. It's gonna make a ton of Spider -Man's money. Spider Man's gonna kill everyone. Spider Man kills everyone. Turn off the dark, Spider Man. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they expected. I really don't know. But again, this is another blow for Disney. And Canto did not do well. Hawkeye, apparently, the ratings are not not good. And this is coming from comicbook.com. This isn't some alt-right hater site. Uh -huh. 
They're flat out saying that, like... Well, we brought other things from Forbes and The Hollywood Reporter. It wasn't exactly all right hater sites. Yeah, right? Yeah, even though we back it up with, with uh, news sources. We're, we're like, you just all right haters. But, like, it seems like the Disney Plus series are sort of, like, diminishing returns. I think everybody's like, yeah, we've already kind of did. Kinda I, just think, I just think, you know, you could have just stopped with, with musicals don't do well in the box office. Because it has nothing to do with, it, with COVID. It has nothing to do with Omicron. It has everything to do with the fact they just don't perform that well in the box office. I mean, it might... They, on be more beloved like the greatest showman but they didn't he did, they didn't perform as well as this one did i mean i'm sorry and people thought that it wasn't that bad but a lot of people are going to go in there and not gonna understand half the movie and they're gonna be like what the hell is this <laughs> the nationwide surge in covid cases fueled by delta and omicron could keep the film's core demographic of older urban audiences home well spider-man no way home which is expected to gross over 100 million opening weekend i thought we had a pandemic Mm-hmm. Oh, but that the you know. squeezes out the competition for the younger. They they made those mistakes for um James Bond too. For younger moviegoers, the, what the younger moviegoers weren't going to go see West Side Story for the most part. I mean, let's be honest here. Now they went to go see The Greatest Showman, I think, because they had uh, Zendaya in it mm-hmm. and uh, what's his face, uh, Zac Efron. What's his face? Well, okay. I, I don't know what his face is anymore because he he had injections or something done and it looks weird. He looks. You can still tell him. He looks like David Hasselhoff now. <laughs> he does. I saw pictures of now that could be a bad picture, but I saw pictures of him after he had like Botox and he looked like David Hasselhoff. Uh, I would go see West Side Story with David Hasselhoff. I think most people would actually. Well he tried doing what was it, um 15, 20 years ago, he did like a Jack One Hyde musical or something, and they televised it. That would be kind of interesting. No, you wouldn't have watched it. You don't like you don't like musicals. I, I really don't. I sing like songs from that one all the time, though. Uh, I do like I do like Little Shop of Horrors and the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Not I would to like, be confused. Not to be confused. Actually, you could probably put the two of them together and have the Little Shop of Rocky Horrors. Uh, that would be interesting. But uh, yeah, I don't really like musicals. I, I, the Grand Showman wasn't terrible, mm-hmm. but it was historically inaccurate. Well, most of them are. Oh, very, are we going to wrap this up? Yeah, we are. I'm just, I'm just. So listening. basically, the, the gist of this whole damn thing is, Encanto did not do well. Uh, West Side Story did not do well. West Side Story also, uh, you know, is half in Spanish. People can't understand it, and they're also doubling down the usage of words that people don't like, and in, in, when they talk to the director and so and so. Uh, and Hawkeye's not doing great either. There you go. And Spider Man's going to come and kick all their asses. But that I would, summed it up right there. Yeah, but that wouldn't have been as much fun. And then how many different variants are we going to get? And how did it go from Delta to Omicron? Where all the ones in between go? A, B, C, D. I don't think it goes in the same way because it's the... No, it doesn't. Because we have like Alpha, Beta. Um, we, didn't, we didn't get where Chad, all those... <laughs> then Delta, then Epsilon, then Frank. <laughs> G, Gerald. Yeah, we have a whole bunch there of the Harry go. variant. The Harry variant. Doesn't matter. We're wrapping it up. Yeah. We'll see you later. Bye.